So we did a thing this weekend. I was up really late last night too. He was researching until four o'clock in the morning to make sure that we made the right decision because our entire lives could change with a with phone call. One phone call. Yeah, everything. And right now we have to make that phone call. We're Brittany and Drew, house sitters, adventure lovers, and van lifers who have traveled to 24 different countries living in all sorts of rolling homes. And after seven years of digital nomad life, we're ready to find a place where we can dig some roots and build a family of our own. But how far are we going to have to go? Before we begin the search, let's take in a deep breath and let it out. And no. It's time to enjoy the show. It's so hard to know with like so much freedom. Our entire lives are in our hands right now and it's a lot. You guys hear us talk about abroad a lot, being in Europe and being in other continents and other countries. We've gotten way off the tourist path and the beaten track. And we've fallen in love yeah. with what the culture and pace of life is and what people value probably the meaning of life yeah. yeah yeah and it's hard to find that over here and i think that's why we keep searching and searching and prices for land are at an all-time high right now yeah yeah like the property that we loved the most sold for one hundred and forty thousand dollars last year to the people who are selling it now for two hundred and thirty five thousand mm -hmm. But, but they already have several offers that are way above asking price. 300,000 cash is yeah. one of them. And so, all right, we've filmed some <laughs> clips of our journey to find land, and we're gonna share those with you now. Okay. Well, we were guided down this path for some reason. That's right. Okay, what's after Anglebright? Then we go to Nevada City, and that's like 10 or 20 minutes from Anglebright. 25 minutes. Okay, 25 minutes, that's great. What about Sunday? Where do we start? So we would go up to Downeyville, but you know, that's pretty high in the mountains. Let's see, it's uh... If there's snow, I don't think we'll end up living there. Oh, oh man. Shoot. Kind of snow on Saturday. You were digging cross country skiing. I really loved it, I did. I love snow. <laughs> Any final thoughts before we head out on our property hunt? We got some more research to do. Yeah, we do. Remember, it's Adventure Thursday, and we are planning for the weekend. That's right. That's why Thursdays are awesome. They're the best. <laughs> They're the best. It's the best. I love it. It's a very exciting weekend ahead. Very exciting. We made it on the road this morning. We're headed to Placerville, California, which is two hours north. It's somewhere that we have never been, but since one of you guys reached out to us and well, we'll actually be meeting with you, Stephanie, this morning to see your property, we really can't wait to get out there. This is more of like a residential property than maybe like a retreat space, but still, Drew and I have a few different ideas for the kind of life situation we could live in the future, and so we're willing to check it all out. So. To Placerville we go. Let's see what's in store. If you're like us, then you know that no road trip is complete without snacks. And Schoolyard Snacks, who is the delicious sponsor of today's episode, is recreating the sweet treats and junk food favorites from our childhood and transforming some of our guiltiest pleasures into 100% pure pleasure. Their cereals, which are gluten, grain, lactose, soy, and sugar-free, come in peanut butter and cocoa, which we love to mix together. And their keto cheese puffs come in cheddar cheese and sour cream and onion. I can't even tell you the last time my fingers looked like this. Spirit fingers! They've been in such popular demand that they've been selling out, but luckily, they're finally back in stock. Plus, if you use our link below, you'll get 10% off and free shipping. You deserve great tasting treats without the guilt. 
And they're so confident that you'll love them that they offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all orders. Make sure you click that link below and get your snacks. Everyone knows to get gas at Costco. I know, Costco's the jam. 331 a gallon, not so bad. Something that Drew and I were talking about on our drive here that we thought was really important to share with you. How do I say this? Basically, leaving van life is going to be really hard. The freedom that we have created for ourselves living full-time van life is priceless. But if it wasn't placed on our hearts to kind of expand, we wouldn't be searching right now. And when we went to Panama last year, again, like we thought that maybe that could be our land. But also being YouTubers, living on land with other YouTubers, it's kind of impossible to have two YouTubers on one piece of land. Um, we'll leave it at that, but we'll be looking at a few different kinds of properties today. I think in total it'll be uh, three properties, right? Three properties, yeah. a full day today. There we go, so we'll see. Well, that's sure a big selling point. Those are blackberry bushes. Oh. <laughs> We're gonna have to come back when they're ripe. Having a water feature on our property would be a huge, huge plus. And that's the creek that goes through the property. And we're here. There's Stephanie, everyone. <laughs> wow, what cool trees. So lush. Stephanie's blazing the way for us on this trail. Thanks, Stephanie. Oh, yeah. You can see the river right down here. Stephanie and her husband bought this property about 20 years ago as a beautiful little retreat when they need to get away from the city and get back to nature. She was kind enough to share it with us to help inspire the kind of magic that we could find on our search. And did she ever. You're stuck on the bushes? I got myself stuck in the blackberry bushes. <laughs> <laughs> it's grabbing onto you. Yeah. Now, would you be able to build like little camping oh, structures? You, yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure. You could do that. You, like you can build, like you can put a 120 square foot outbuilding and you're supposed to... Once you have like a normal residence? Yeah, once okay. you have a house, yeah. you can... Kind of get of away with doing crazy. other things. Yeah. I mean, and you can see what people have done. Did you yeah. see the guy that had like a little tiny house and then he had yeah. another thing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love yeah. that. <laughs> and then it's BLM land beyond that. And okay. I think it goes pretty much, if it doesn't go all the way up to the ridge, it goes pretty far up. Not that that's like really scraggly stuff. Got it. Basically, this property is like a big pie slice. And the back corner of the pizza slice is up there on the hill. And then there's the little road that we parked along. And then the rest of the pizza slice extends out to where I'm at here along the river shore. And then it includes a bunch of the land over here, which extends out towards BLM land. It would be a lot of work to clear this stuff out, but look at that little guy. Is he a little garden snake? He doesn't have any red rings on his yeah. neck, which is a good thing. He's harmless, but I still got to make my way past him. <laughs> you got your boots on. That's yeah. right. Okay, let's... All right, you stay there. Good deal. <laughs> <laughs> you sensed that you just went by. You weren't messing with me. Yeah. <laughs> Good work, babes. You could have a little hiking, rock climbing. Right on the land. On our, on our land. Oh, it's so beautiful. See that? There's like gemstones in the rocks. We could build our house out of river rocks. 
You're taking me to the beach? Special spot. Oh, it's gonna be easy Thanks. for you. <laughs> You're up. <laughs> I'm curious what these are. There's a ton of them growing. They almost look like an avocado nut, but it's got roots. What are your thoughts, babe? Just taking it all in. This is really cool to have a river on the land. I know, very interesting. So that property was five acres, including the bits on the other side of the river. It was so stunningly gorgeous absolutely beautiful not only the water feature but the rocks and the wildlife all around the neighbors are a little close still not sure we got more properties to look at let's see We're off to the second property. This is the agricultural land. And so far we are just surrounded by the most beautiful trees and ranches. The important thing about this property is that it has a permitted structure that does need like completely restored, but at least it's permitted. Basically what that means is it's that much easier to build a house of your own because it's already permitted. And we'll be meeting a realtor here who's gonna kind of give us the lay of the land. So let's see. Property number two, numero dos. Welcoming us to the neighborhood. Moo. Look at all the little babies. They're so cute. <laughs> Jump in the ditch. <laughs> oh. <laughs> there they go. Oh, they're so adorable. I love that this is out here. Wow. Honey Mushroom, I'm home. <laughs> Such a good name. It's probably my favorite part so far. Look at the goats. Cute, we got fun neighbors. And a dirt road. There's the little structure. Cool. With sunset views. I can see it already. Wow. Let's go. Yeah, this is stunning. You probably know in Nevada County with agricultural zoning, everything that's five acres or more is a whole different price category. And you... The house is not really habitable in its current condition, but the fact that it appears as 840 square feet yeah. permitted on the foundation yeah. of the county record, that's gold already because you can have a fifth wheeler here, you can put a tiny house. The way that I understand it, if, uh, and this is from talking to a manufactured home dealership mm -hmm. here locally. They said if you've already got a permit for 840 square feet, then you can do something else that's within a certain range of that. Help yourself, I'll stay yeah, out here in thank case you. someone needs to call for help. Yeah. <laughs> wow. It's not good, but it's not. But at the end of the day, like, it really seems like you got two options. One, you either try to tear it down. Right and start over fresh. Right. Or you see if somebody can mend those edges yeah. of the wood around the Dark air things. so you can jack it up. For us, the initial draw to this property was the view. When we saw the picture of sunset on Zillow, we were like, we'd park our van there. Yeah, because it's almost like they extended and ripped out this wall and then added this section yeah. of this room. It seems like the original yeah. must have been here and they built that And up. pushed it over. Right. But it was clear to us that this structure was going to need a lot of love. But at least you could keep the bones and the piping. Yeah, the framework would work, but... Be quite a makeover. Oh, yeah. You got stories, I'm sure. I mean, I love that deck possibility, you know? Yeah. What we didn't realize about this property before arriving was the fact that the five acres of land were terraced, providing four large level areas where we could build yurts, tree houses, maybe even a hobbit house, along with a large workshop space on the level area behind the house. 
This would also be the perfect area for Drew to be able to work on van conversions should he decide to go that route. We could even make a few spots for campers to be able to plug in for a night or two and enjoy the view with us. I've also found myself increasingly interested in mycology, or the study of mushrooms. And what better place than on Honey Mushroom Lane to build a mushroom house and learn how to grow heirloom fungi. Fresh and ready for pizza nights, of course. All of this would allow us to create a unique retreat experience, along with the possibility of agritourism. Could you imagine mushroom tastings at sunset here? But all of this would depend on zoning, and that would be a call that we would have to make before any decisions could be made. One of the other buyers I explained to Drew and Brittany is a first time home buyer, and they've made a very good offer, but if I had to choose between you all and them, just based on the personality mm -hmm. of the people, I think you are more mm -hmm. prepared to take on the challenges. Yeah. That view is out of control. It's magnificent. Uh, dreams. <laughs> I don't know how it gets better than this. That is a project house and a half, which is exactly what Brittany and I want to do, and we'd want to showcase it with you guys. Exactly. We could share the transformation and watch yeah. it go from before and after and just, like, <gasps> love life. Mostly just July and August. It will get to about 100 degrees. Yeah. I believe it gets really toasty in the middle of the summer here. Yeah, yeah but I'm okay with that. There's lots of trees for shade, and this is a good... Everything and more. This is a good day. But we still have one more property left to see, so let's not get too... Too amped. Yeah. Yeah, okay, we'll simmer on this one. Talk to you guys later. We made it to property three. The difference with this location? 17 grand acres. Versus five. At the five's last. pretty big though overall. I mean, I feel like five is good to handle. Manageable? Uh-huh. 17. Like we would need to bike everywhere. <laughs> hey look, there's a yurt. Can you guys see it? Let's go have a closer look. This is vast. What do you do with all this? <laughs> it's beautiful. And look, we got some water tanks over here. The road is a little bit loud. It's pretty loud. The thing that I find very evident that appeals to us at each of the last two properties is that each of them serves the like as the perfect location for one of the versions of our lives that we could be really happy about. So this one would be a grander like maybe we figure out yeah like van life film fest or you know also having a conversion space and look what we arrived to i like the triangles definitely needs some love certainly needs some love but i think you just wash it we saw it on that stay here episode you just wash the canvas but these are cool i feel like really we're like but like, not keep dusty. Talking over each other. <laughs> Sorry. Go. What a cool little spot. <laughs> That's all you wanted to say. I think they were growing weed. Which is legal in California. I think this is where they were drying the bud. This whole thing has to be redone. I don't really want to breathe in there. <laughs> I'm just gonna. I call it moldy. It's like... it, it smells like dusty. Ah, there's lots of dust. Oh, it's the insulation. Yeah, no. Mm -mm. Have a look under here. The people just kind of left their crap everywhere. Mm, I don't think I like this one as much. I don't know what happened. I don't Definitely like not it. Definitely digging the sounds of the road. No. The other one was such good juju. But mm. it's a lot of acreage for only 135,000. So much more peaceful when there's no cars. I 
It makes me feel dizzy. You wanna know how there's evidence that we know exactly what they're growing? THC. <laughs> That's hilarious. THC. Cherry OG. What was this? This one's Jaeger. I don't think I want to raise our kids here. This is Bug. <laughs> well, let's see if the water works. Oh yeah. Well, at least that's figured out and we wouldn't have to have a well drilled. A well cost anywhere from 10 to 20,000 in some cases where you have to drill about 450 feet to 850 feet down and in other cases where there is no water or well already developed, we've heard up to 30 to 40,000 for a well, which is absolutely crazy. Not to mention mm. permits for building on land that's not developed yet. Yeah, and property number two, the one before, also had water. The last place had everything you already need, which is all one big package, which is super uh, cool. Yeah. But what do you think about this one? It's a little too loud because the road. I love the space, but we haven't really understood how big of a parcel this is. We know it's 17 acres, but who knows? I know you're not totally digging it because you're like, there was some weird juju going on here. No, but the other one was just more peaceful. Of course it was. It was terraced. But it's considerably more. The view was amazing. Yeah. The sun was all. It was nice to be greeted by people who are informative about the place. Yeah. Just like in our travels, sometimes when you connect with a tour guide or a local, it really enhances and brings about a wonderful experience. Yeah, they definitely added to it. Yeah. I mean, the river was really cool earlier. Option one had a river. Option two had a view. Option three has a road. I think option three. That's about it. <laughs> yeah, we know that much. What's that? It's 17 acres, but it's not all that usable, you know? Yeah. And the other five acres, I felt like it was pretty all usable. This is like a lot of, what is this? It's really angled. Yeah, mushy angled Yeah. stuff. It'd be good for cattle. Yeah. Maybe some baby goats. I mean, you have baby goats up on the other one too. Or definitely baby goats. <laughs> and alpaca. Our neighbor had alpaca. She's our neighbor already. Before it was time to make our decision, we had one more spot to visit. That houseboat is totally a floating RV. Huh. So this was another one of our fun ideas was the potential possibility of living on a houseboat on this dammed off lake. But we called the office and found out that unfortunately they don't allow people to live on these boats full time. They're more just for recreation use. And this lake has over a hundred boat in camp spots all around its perimeter, which is super, super cool. It's beautiful it's here. It's really beautiful. Yeah. Look how but clear the water is. I wanted to say like, even <laughs> if we couldn't live on this lake, if we were to live on the other property, property number two. We'd be very, very close to this area. Yeah. This would be the summer, summer. <gasps> lake spot yeah we would have a little lake spot so let's go <laughs> just kidding just kidding <laughs> yeah this would be nice i think you'd be all right around these parts of the woods yeah me too <laughs> makes you realize how big they actually are wow a little different when you see it on land compared to the water pretty epic and with two pretty good offers already in on the property that we loved the most, it was time for us to make a decision, which felt like a lot of pressure really fast. In every capacity, it's great for us for paying back the loan and figuring out the revenue streams. Yeah. It's hard to really like know the numbers and the possibility of people coming out there. It. Like you just... I guess that's where it's like, is it a calculated risk or is it like just being naive to it and going at something full in without, like obviously you'd figure out what works and what doesn't. You think we're making the right decision? Yes. Set our prayers. Set our prayers. Let's make that call. So we've, we've had a couple of phone calls this morning and kind of doing some more research and thoughts on things. We ended up talking with city planning, found out that we cannot have any more ADUs like we were hoping. Yeah, that was a bummer. On Agland, whether it's Ag 10 or Ag 20, you can get permits for camping, for campers per acre roughly, 
but it has to be a road that is fire safe and it ha and it has to have two access points. It can't be a dead end. Well, darn it, darn it, darn it. That's too bad. But no. you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. We'll just keep looking. Yeah. I'm with you. I'm going anywhere in the state of California with you. So yeah. Well, we may not have found our property this time, but we got way closer than we anticipated on our first try. So be sure to subscribe and join us as the search for the background of the next chapter of our lives continues. You guys are the best. <laughs>